Millions of people are shifting to the new earth right at this moment. Many people are feeling the shift. Many people are going through massive changes right now. Many of you may be feeling more stressful. Some of you may be feeling weird and it may be hard to describe what's going on and maybe it may be much harder to find the balance during this time and your dreams are more vivid and you may feel like something is speaking to you and you may sense like you're losing the sense of groundedness and everything during this time may, may feel more challenging. It's a sign of an incredible shift. So much of your old life is breaking down to allow the best version of yourself to emerge. While it may be stressful at the moment, you have to find the joy, you have to find the natural rhythm that awakens excitement within you, because that's what you should follow. That's what you should walk behind, behind the sense of joy, behind the sense of excitement. Many closures and profound realizations are surfacing. Previously, can awakening maybe your deepest fears. Now you're realizing that it's not so frightening. What you've been seeing and feeling and hearing is not so frightening. Once you realize that everything you've been intuited was always correct, all these feelings will prove liberating and something immense lies ahead of you, my friend. If you're feeling a deep sense of confusion right now, know that you're still being attached to who you were to what is falling apart, the old identity that is not really serving you at this moment anymore, maybe old beliefs around what you think that is working, many new energies that have been coming to this planet are only helping you to ascend with them, to notice that the path in life is not narrow, the gates towards the greatest possible blessings are not wide, they're not widely open, they're quite tight, because only the realness can enter through them, the truthfulness, the honesty, the bliss, the happiness can move through them. So stick to these feelings and anything that is not that, anything that is weighting you down, needs to be identified, needs to be noticed, and needs to be cleansed, purified. So the new earth is more about the inner kingdom, discovering of your inner kingdom. Why? Because once you recognize that everything is a part of nature, everything is divine, you are divine and part of nature, your body, your nervous system, your organs, your thoughts, your ideas, your intuitive senses, your heart, your brain, your gut feeling, everything is divine. You don't waste it anymore. You don't take it for granted anymore. Something magical happens when you hit, when this realization hits you. That is the new earth, the inner kingdom, discovering or discoverance of the inner kingdom within you. It was always the inner journey, the inner work. So every time you get upset because of something, it's your identity kicking in once again, controlling your behaviors. And you say, oh no, I'm not this person anymore. I'm not treating things this way anymore. It's not love. It's not coming from love. It's coming from lack of self-esteem, it's coming from lack of courage, it's coming from lack of self-care, it's coming from my inner critic, self-judgment. So millions of people right now are discovering their native wisdom that was always saying to them that they can get through anything, that they are not what's been falling apart. The world is going through metamorphosis right now. 
and many people are being in a cocoon that is slowly opening up and many people are realizing that their wings can only their wings can open the cocoon otherwise nothing can survive from these challenges so when you get up and find this inner strength to open up from the cocoon to rise from your bed in the morning and decide today I will make a good day. Today I will serve my highest possible calling. Today I will find something to feel happy about. Today I will do things with passion. Even though I may not feel like that, I will find it within me. If I can't find it, I will sit with me for one hour if I need to, to find where's the source of it. And I will do that. And when you stay true to that, you will notice there is no other way but succeeding. No other way but finding light within you. Nothing can move you. When you find that, nothing can move you. Nothing. And in that inner light, there is a spark of creativity. You are creative by nature, but most of the time you were not training that. That's why you are seeing a rise of empowered people. People started empowering others. You see that because people have discovered the kingdom within, the heaven within. Firstly, your mind needs to become a garden of Eden, right? You need to discover that Everything starts in your inner garden. You need to take care of it first. Once you start managing all these inner mechanisms, from the way you wake up in the morning, how you rise from the bed, how you choose to feel yourself today, how you choose to think about yourself, doesn't matter what is going on, how you choose to look at these events, how you choose to see a person that you see in the mirror, that's how you ta start taking care of this inner garden. And the reflection will tell you what you've planted in it. So millions are shifting into a new earth, discovering that they are carrying gifts to this planet. You are discovering it. Sometimes your deepest struggles have actually led you to discover these gifts. Maybe most of your life you've been trying to prove something to others and get a certain sense of validation from them. So you've forgotten about your native gifts you've brought to here within your soul. Now you're discovering that there is no other thing you truly want to do than serving these gifts. Earning life, earning miracles in life through serving gifts. So slowly we are transitioning into a period where it's not truly about solitude for most of you anymore. It's about making an impact, serving, finding your tribe. Some of you have found it, some of you are building it, some of you are leading communities, some of you are starting communities. You're spreading seeds of new life. And as you're seeing this happening within your life, notice the growth, not just in you, notice it in others. That's how you're shattering this old identity that was judging others, complaining about others. Now try to see the interesting part within others. Try to see what is growing in them, because that's how we start connecting the dots. That's what love does. Sure, there's many people you don't want to be around. There's many people who are still very self-centered. 
and they only want to use you, well, move away from them. But also believe that even for them, the time will come. So don't just think it's all about the good things. Don't just think it's all about the growth. Don't just think it's all about the light. But try to find compassion even for those who may seem to have no light within. When you have capacity for that. Maybe just try to understand them. Because there's still something within you that has a capacity to be like them. We all have a capacity to be like our greatest enemies. So there is a part of you that may become like those you're judging. So try to understand them. Because that's how you will make peace with yourself. And you will notice that not all of them really want to hurt you. Some of them actually want to transform their lives, but they don't know how. And don't be surprised if some of your enemies will come to you humbled and will express a deep need to learn from you. Don't be surprised if these things happen in your life, because they will. And I want to remind you to always focus on the part of you that is connected. On the part of you that feels connection with life. You feel it when you are outside in the nature. You feel it when you are working out. You feel it when you are breathing. You feel it when you are meditating. You feel it when you have deep conversations. You feel it when you are writing your thoughts down. You feel it when you have deep vivid dreams during your sleeping time. You feel it when you are happy. You feel it when you experience joy. You feel it when you pray. You feel it. When you feel alive, identify with this. Because this is your real identity. It's connectedness. Connectedness knows no separation. So therefore, you're not separated from your dreams. Your dreams live within you as an idea. An idea is not separated from this moment. It's not separated from manifestation. An idea will manifest when all links of action will align. When you will look into the future and you will dream about your future and you will take the next necessary step towards it with a great sense of joy and enthusiasm, not because you are waiting it to happen, but because you are making it happen. Remember, you are the creator. Remember, you've come here with the great capacity to create, like universe is creating nature, almost seems like out of nothing. And this is your nature. Those are your natural gifts that you just need to embody. Practice them. Become skillful about them. Become the one you've been waiting for. Because you've been waiting somebody will save you. Oh, look, you are the saver. Oh! <laughs> Have you know that? You're the saver. And solution is you doing what you know deep inside that you have to do. Organizing your life the way that you really do all that is in your power to do it with the greatest possible alignment while doing it. Which means stop complaining, stop gossiping, stop doing what is against you. Stop breaking your own promises. Stop saying what you don't mean. Even stop thinking what you are not. Stop 
So millions of people are shifting into the new earth, managing their inner garden so that garden can be seen externally as well and that will be the manifestation of a new earth where some of you are already seeing it some of you are already feeling it some of you are already in contact with it some of you are already living there it's like living in that ideal life but then coming back into the matrix and waking up others there's many people who have the the potential to awaken some of you are staying asleep and it's okay just let them be don't try to change anyone even your closest friends or parents let the new energies feed you and let the chaos happen they're bringing with it a new order that is taking place so there are certain days you may feel more dizzy or maybe even more foggy let these days to happen and don't be so hard on yourself rest a little bit more but also know it will pass maybe the next day you will wake up completely in clarity and so many new realizations will find you so just allow yourself to be so things can settle and suddenly you will notice that you are actually free that everything you've been complaining about is slowly resolving almost by itself and all you truly need to do is to find this inner sound the resonance that speaks to you with joy through joy that excites you, that moves you, that says to you, oh, I want to paint, I want to dance, I want to, to share this with others, I want to talk about what I've been through because I know some, someone out there may resonate with it and it may change his or her life. I want to do that. This is a sense of excitement that moves you. This is the sound that only speaks to you. The universe, one verse one sound which is you so remember my friend your time has come i hope you found great value in today's video my friends i'm sending you lots of love blessings and power till next time one love Hey my friends, I hope you've enjoyed in today's video. I want to remind you that we've just opened a fresh new store called attractpassion.com where you can find all of my work, original paintings, you can find prints of all of my art in different sizes, so go there and check it out, attractpassion.com. If you will use the code PASSION15, PASSION15, you will get 15 off onto your first order. So go there and check it out. And to anyone who would love to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, I'm offering one-on-one -on -one coaching. We have some free spots once again. You can go and check out the link in the description of this video where you can find everything there. So go and check it out. If you would like to do something with the inspiration that you feel right now, it will help you so much to transform your life. I want you to do something with it. If you feel inspired, you have to do something with it. So my friends, till next time, one love.